Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you everyone for who is liked and subscribed. It's it's just amazing support that you're giving me. I couldn't be happier. It's just great stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, today, I'd like to just have a, a little conversation about PFSense and what's happening. Um, there's a lot of changes happening. Um, so let, let's, let's talk about that. So, PFSense. They've released 2.6 for the Community Edition. And with that came 22.01 on PFSense Plus. This is a major departure from what they've done before. And let me just tell you, the best thing about this is that you can go from the Community Edition, which is 2.6, as I said, but it also gives you an upgrade path to go from the Community Edition to Plus. That's great. That's brilliant. That's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this to come along and I've done it on my firewall. I've gone to the 2201 and it's great because what that has given me is the ability to import my OpenVPN configuration, which is hosted by Amazon. I'll, I'll show you how I did that one day. It was brilliant. And I'll be honest, I followed a tutorial from Network Chuck. If you haven't seen Network Chuck stuff, go and have a look. He is. Mr. Personality, I, I love the way he does his videos. They are fantastic. It's so Network Chuck. Go and take a look, subscribe, and, and like his stuff. He's great. So, yeah, this is massive to me. It took maybe three minutes to do this. You just you go along to NetGate's site. You sign up for the support contract, which gives you an email which you it gives you a massive great big code paste it into um, the register section on your pfsense 2.6 and then it suddenly offers you the 2201 once you've done that you you've got a few more packages that you can you can install and like i said the uh, import the open vpn configuration perfect just what i wanted i did this I've now got VPN set up on my firewall, which is brilliant because now I can watch Netflix from any country. Although at the moment, my VPN is set up so that it looks like I'm in the US, which is, you know, that's fine. Um, there is a lot more <laughs> Netflix US than there is on Netflix UK. So, yeah, th this is great. So I will dive into this uh, deeper in upcoming videos and what. 2201 offers on PF plus, uh, PFSense Plus. But for now, let me just tell you that this has been a godsend. I was having a little bit of grief getting OpenVPN set up on it just as a client. And this has just taken it all away and, and made things just so much smoother. The, the throughput is much more than just having a client downloaded on my, on my Windows box. It's just, you know, it's great. And it, it obviously, with VPN comes the, the added advantage that all my traffic is encrypted and my ISP now no longer knows what I'm doing. Nothing nefarious, I must tell you. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm loving this. It's, it's made me so happy to do this. So if you've got your own uh, PSSense install and you're running on 2.5.2, I think was the previous, Get yourself upgraded to 2.6 and uh, go along to NetGate's site, register for your support of your choice. There's four levels. You, you've, you've got the ability to register for totally free for home and lab setups, which is probably what most people will go for. Uh, it gives you great access to uh, their, their forums. So it's good support there. And that's community driven, of course, um, the support, the, the forums, love forums. They're great. You can have some really good conversations on forums with people and get the, the support that you need. So it's a really good way of doing it. There's also what they call tech light, which again is free. At least it's free at the moment. It, there is a little disclaimer down there saying that they will change it and, and charge 129 US dollars. I think it was. Um, I'll throw that up on the screen so you can see. Um, and then there's the two uh, business and enterprise 
models, which is TAC plus and something. But yeah, so choose the one you want. Like I said, lab and home would be enough for most people. And, and if you're okay with, with supporting PFSense yourself anyway, that, that's probably the way to go. But yeah, take, take a look. I know this is a bit of a talking head and I, I don't often do talking heads like this anyway. But this to me is big news and I just wanted to just make a quick video and I know that um, LMG, Linus Media Group, has released a, a video on, on PFSense recently. So kudos to them for doing that. It's been waiting for you guys to do that. It's nice to see. Did tweet out a message to you guys saying thanks for doing that, even if it is only a tech quickie. Maybe we can get... Linus to actually dive into PFSense and, and show us because I know that once upon a time he was running that. I remember seeing that in one of his videos, but he never actually dived into how he set that up. But maybe he'll show us one day. But like I said, I, I got my my initial uh, PFSense set up from Network Chuck and um, his extremely easy to follow style of video was just phenomenal. So like I said, get over there. Check out his content, subscribe and like it. He's um, thoroughly entertaining. Anyway, guys, so that, that's what, all I wanted to say today. I was going to run through some points, but um, I think it's just going to make it a really long video. There's not really much point in me doing that right now until we can do a hands-on one and I, I can show you how I've configured mine. Um, I know that in one of my very first videos, I showed you how to initially set up uh, PF Sense 252, and that was the community edition. Uh, so maybe I'll do one with um, how to set up PF Sense 2201. That, that might be an interesting one, and how to do the, the VPN. But again, you can just follow Network Chuck. I like Network Chuck, it may not show, but I do. And um, quite often watch his stuff. Um, and I've done one on uh, adding a second LAN. Um, May well do one on uh, DMZ at some point as well. But again, that's very similar to setting up a, a second LAN. Um, so hopefully you, you found this interesting news. It's certainly big news to me and um, will make things a lot easier for me going forward. So yeah, hopefully you guys, uh, you can do something similar. And um, thanks very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, share it everywhere. I want to get my message across that um, you know, open source is the way to go, if at all possible. If not, use the other ones as well. It's not, not a major thing. I, I've said in my comments before, and I'll say it again, you know, I'm a big believer in using the, the right tool for the right job that you're comfortable with. So as long as you fit into those criteria, don't let anyone tell you you shouldn't be using one thing over another. Um, so I'll leave it there, guys. Um, like I said, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.